Hi, my lovelies. I want to talk to you today about what I found at Target. Um, now, this is a brush drying rack. It was $15, and I was, I actually just stumbled across it. Uh, I was waiting for a prescription and, you know, just trying to kill time, and I answered my telephone, and when I turned, I saw this, and I thought, wow, um, I think I got to try this. Hopefully, it works as easy as it says. So supposedly you're just gonna put it together and you're just gonna slide the brushes in and it should drip dry in this bottom tray overnight. Um, I don't know how most of y'all dry your brushes after you've, you've washed them. I'll get, um, my son just brought me this one. It's a hand towel and I'll get a paper towel and I'll just let it rest on there so that the water will just drip down onto the paper towel overnight and it'll just be dry in the morning. Um, so that's typically what I, I do, except, well, when I'm gonna do my brushes, I have to get a bigger towel um, because it's a lot of brushes. So um, I'm gonna put this together and I brought just a couple of my brushes, different lengths and different uh, widths here to see, because I see on here how they too have different size uh, little circles here and I don't know if you can adjust the height on this because like I said some of these are longer than others so you know maybe it'll work on this but not on this uh, well we're about to find out let's see how easy it is to put together okay so now we have this which is metal this is metal feels heavy um, Okay, so let's see how many pieces we have here. And we have instructions, that's good. Already I can kind of guess how this is gonna work, but okay, let's see what the instructions say. Um, yep, it's pretty much how I thought. <laughs> so it's pretty simple. You're just gonna stick this in here into the base and by the way the base does have these little like they feel like silicone right here um so i guess so it won't be sliding too much on your on your counter just screw that in there okay and then slide this right in and then take this top part and screw that in. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to turn it and the bottom's turning too. Hmm, okay, let's see. Okay, there we go, I finally got it. So now it's together. Okay, hmm, well, hmm. I don't know, okay, let's see. Sort of sticks, possibly. <laughs> Cause this one is pretty long. So I don't know, if I hold it up that way and don't move it, maybe it'll stick. Let's see, of course it's going down. Like I said, don't move it. So I don't think it's gonna really matter about this cause I think just have to find the one that'll fit the best. Whoop, it pops right off the top. Okay, I wonder, can I turn it this way? Nope, I thought maybe if I turned it one way, it might get a little stuck on, there's a little bitty part right here that sticks out on both sides. And I thought maybe if I could turn that, maybe it would not slide down. So it would kind of like, lock in place but no it doesn't seem to do that it still seems to hmm so i think if you're going to do it and you have long brushes like this particular one and this is my mac 2245 all of these brushes are mac um this one is well i can barely read it it's my mac it looks like 159 and this one is from their Snowball collection, I believe. Can't remember. Mac um, 
SES. I believe that's, that was from the Snowball Collection. And this one is the MAC 473SES. So I think the main thing is trying to keep it from falling down. So I think once you have your brushes in, just be really careful not to touch it and mess with it so that it doesn't fall down. And then you'll end up with a smooshed brush like that. And it's gonna dry that way overnight, whether it's this way or the other way. And you don't want that, that could damage your brush. Um, so I think once you get it to the height you want it, you've got all your brushes in place, just be really careful not to drop it. Let me see if this mentions anything about adjusting. Um, just says to use, you unscrew uh, the base with the brush. If it's too long to insert directly. Okay, so if it says that if the brush is too long, just unscrew the, the base part and slip it in there and then insert the brush handle so that the bristles are pointed down and return the rack back to the base, allowing the brushes to dry overnight. Um, that's about it. So, I mean, you kind of don't have to remove the base considering it'll just slide right off the top right here. <laughs> So there's no sense in unscrewing this bottom part when when uh, this will slide right off. Um, whoops. So um, I think it'll do. And this bottom part right here does have a little, not much, but a little slope. So from any dripping that could happen overnight, it, it'll pull down here and it's not. I don't know, let me take this off. I don't know if you can see that, how at an angle, you can see my brushes are dirty, uh, um, cause I gotta clean them. Um, but it kinda has a little dip, and this is a very little dip. I don't know if you can tell that at all. Um, let me see. Let's see, I'll put a little, I don't know if you can tell, but a little bit of water. See if I can get just a little. There you go. Can you, I don't know if you can see that, that uh, it will pull somewhere, but it's just a little, so it's not, and it's not like your brushes are most likely gonna have lots and lots and lots of water that is going to overflow or anything like that. Um, so I think it'll be okay. I'll have to give it a shot because I'm wondering, and I did not do a good job of drawing this. And this is a bounty paper towel. Um, it usually does great. I'm concerned with the thing that, since it is able to slide, again, I messed up. Since it does slide down, uh, some of the brushes, they can't, you know, have bigger brushes, you know, like the foundation brush, um, my powder brush. If the more brushes you have, will it go down because of the weight? I mean, but most of the brushes, I mean, it's not like they weigh a pound each or anything or even half a pound, but let me go see. Let me go get a couple more brushes and let's see what happens. Okay, now I have gotten quite a bit in here and I'm pushing them up to kind of help with the, the height issue. Let's see if I can get it in here because it feels feels heavier definitely now. Uh, okay, all right. It looks like a disaster, but it is holding up. Um, I pulled, <laughs> I thought that it might go all the way down, but I think if you pull these up enough, not all the way up, because you also, if it's up like this one, it's at an angle, it's light, but it was in the small thing. It might start dripping outside of this tray. I don't know. Um, but like I mentioned how that long one um, was bent here, but I think if you pull it up and you pull them up through here enough, they won't touch the bottom 
and they'll still drip. But I have another one that's over here at an angle and it looks like it's going to land outside of that tray. So I would, I don't know if I can redirect that. Well, yeah, I can, but it's kind of hitting the other brush. I think this is something that you would have to kind of mess with your brushes a little bit and move them around because something like this one looks like it's gonna be dripping onto this one. So this one's gonna have to like do double duty um, cause it's gonna get, it's already wet and then this one's gonna be dropping down, getting it wet. So this one may take a little longer to dry. So that might be an issue um, because if, if they're not able to stay straight, see that one just went right back down, um, turning there, that could be an issue if they're gonna be twisted and they don't wanna stay, ah, some type of bug. Um, That it could end up dripping out here or dripping onto another brush, which could cause, you know, like I said, one brush not to be dry by the morning and you're probably gonna need it in the morning to, um, to put on your makeup. So, okay, I'm not crazy about that part. I'm not crazy that, um, you know, some of the brushes are shooting out at angles. Um, if you don't have a lot of brushes um, to mess with, uh, then uh, it would be no problem. You can just, there'll be spaces and you can maybe move them around a little bit. But okay, even this one coming, coming kind of having an issue with it as well. That, uh, see, it kind of keeps going at an angle. Let's see, what if I move this one inward and up a little bit? Well, if I'm not using this, it's okay. But this one's still kind of coming at an angle. And so is this, let me see. Okay. I think everything looks like it might stay in place. Um, without anything dripping onto another brush. So you may have to, uh, you may have to play with it a bit, move the brushes around a bit. Um, and just see how it's gonna work for you. Um, but it did fall down quite a bit. But uh, this ha at least stops it from going down all the way. This got loose. Um, so that's a good thing is it does have a stopper. So you know it's not going to go any further than that. And just pulling this up. I think that's going to be the main thing is trying to get your brushes not to either fall out of this disc. And not to be drip drying on another brush. Uh, that would be my, my thing, I think. It's just, that's gonna take. I think once you've tried it a couple of times, then you'll know, okay, well this brush goes here and this brush goes there and, uh, you know, you don't go anywhere else, but in that spot. So it seems like it, it could work. I think it'll be okay. And uh, I don't think, even if you were to fill up all these, I don't think it's gonna make so much water that it's gonna pull out. So, I think it does okay. I think it's okay. It's, um, I'm a little disappointed with it, but overall, I think it was a pretty good find. Um, I didn't see something like this at TJ Maxx, but uh, if you can find it somewhere cheaper than $15, and it does the exact same thing, then great for you. <laughs> I was just, um, I said killing time, waiting for a prescription, answered the phone and just happened to look over and this is what I found. So I hope this helps somebody if they need something instead of just using your uh, washcloth to try and paper towel to dry your 
your brushes, this will be good because you don't want any of that water or any soap that's left to go up into the brush because they use glue to kind of hold these in there and it's gonna, you know, wear away the, the glue and then your bristles will start coming out and, you know, um, it doesn't matter which brush you buy, whether you buy uh, a brush, you know, um, from a department store or from your drugstore. Uh, you know, you want your, your brushes to last. So you spend money on your brushes and you want them to last you a long time. And if you take care of them, they will. Um, of course, the one for me that doesn't last very long is my foundation brush. That one, uh, uh, that one doesn't seem to last me very long because I guess all the foundation. Um, but anyway, I think this was good. It's, um, if I had to rate this from one to five, I would probably give it, um, I'm going to give it a three mainly because like I said, it's, you're going to have to sit there and mess with the brushes and worry that some of them might come out. Some of them may be dripping on another brush, which, you know, it won't be ready for the morning when you need it. So I would give it like a three out of five. But other than that, I think it's okay as long as you figure out, you know, which brush can go in which slot. So I hope this helps somebody out and um, thank you very much for watching. And if no one has told you today, remember you are loved, you are beautiful, and you inspire someone every day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.